Mr. Chairman, I would like to introduce Diane Mathewitz, proxy for Karen Schneider. Good afternoon to everyone. Good afternoon. Um, I'm sort of thinking that many of us in this room are trying to figure out the disconnect between the tremendous singing, the beautiful pictures, and, and what came on the video, and Mr. Kent's explanations. And yet, why this year after year, we have discussion about labor practices that result in the death or repression of workers. We continue to have discussion raised from the floor by very serious people about concerns about the environment and concerns about child labor and, and many, many, many other issues. So I sort of feel like I have the same sort of disconnect when I see an ad that's going to tell me that if I apply this skin cream, my wrinkles of 65 years are going to disappear in two weeks. And I think many of us, oftentimes in our lives, uh, have to figure out the difference between what we're told and what we both have experienced in our personal lives in trying to figure out what's the truth. I'm an auto worker, a retired auto worker for 30 years at General Motors, and I truly understand the difference between what a boss tells me and what the corporation told me and what my life was like on an assembly line for 30 years. So I have to say that to all of you who are here in this audience, I really encourage you to take seriously the objections that have been raised by people who are studying these issues. It is not made up that people who are trade unionists in countries have been killed in, in Coca-Cola plants. It's not made up. These are not made up things, regardless of what Mr. Kent says about there not being any truth to them. You are all stockholders, and my union, United Auto Workers, has declared that our plants and offices are going to be coke-free zones because of the ongoing substantial labor practices of Coca-Cola. So I urge you all to actually investigate this on your own and not just to take Mr. Kent's word. Thank you. Thank you um, very much, uh, Mrs. Matthewitz. What I'd like to say is if we said all of these things ourselves and third parties would not be there to verify the things that we are saying, whether it's the ILO, whether it's scientific institutions, whether it is NGOs like Terry in India about our being water neutral in India, achieving water neutrality in India in 2010, then you may have a point. Why? It's my word against yours. I urge you to go into third-party reports, assessments of ind independent organizations that have nothing to do with Coca-Cola, that are completely independent. And if you don't believe them, I can't help you. All I can tell you is to go into the ILO website and look at their reports. Go into the District Court of New York website and look at their decision. It's available to the public. It's free for all. That's the world we live in today. It's a very transparent world. Any information is available to anybody at any time and much more than you need. So we stand by not what we say, madam. We stand by what others say about us. 